What about personal accounts in the financial crisis? Didn't the financial crisis prove that such personal savings and investment for retirement is a bad idea, as President Obama claims, mocking the idea of personal accounts? To counter that criticism, I joined with Bill Shipman, former principal at State Street Global Advisors, uh, to, to conduct a study of the impact on the financial crisis on lifetime savings and investment. Those results were published in the Wall Street Journal on October 17, 2010. So we took the case of a hypothetical uh, worker who's going to retire at the end of 2009, just at the end of the worst, of the, just right at the end of the financial crisis. He's going to retire at the worst possible time, the end of 2009. And we're going to say, okay, let's say when he entered the workforce in 1965, he and his wife had a personal account, and they took the money that they were going to pay into Social Security over the rest of their lives and saved and invested in the, uh, in the personal account instead. And let's assume that fools rush in where angels feel to tread, and so they invest at all in the stock market. They go whole hog into the riskiest possible investment. Through their entire life, they invest everything into the stock market. And we looked at not hypothetical returns, but what the stock market actually earned every year, what the stock returns were, and assumed that they earned those actual returns every year on a diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds, and, uh, and what would happen when, when they reach retirement. Uh, so uh, at the end of 2009, uh, they would have, have accumulated account funds after administrative costs of $855,175. We assume the man earned the average income for males each year, uh, full-time working males, and his wife earned the average income for full-time working uh, females uh, every year. And they retire with $855,175, almost millionaires. In fact, they were millionaires, but they lost 37% of their money in the last two years. Uh, but they still ended up with uh, $855,000. Uh, that would be enough to, to uh, pay them 75% more than Social Security promises them, uh, increased, increased annually for inflation just like Social Security. 